For almost a century now, Perry Mason, the incredibly charming and intelligent defense lawyer, has been an integral part of the American culture. He's continued his legacy through various mediums, including books, TV, and radio. After playing the protagonist in almost 80 novels, Mason moved on to solving mysteries on the radio and eventually made a smooth transition to TV. In 1956, CBS and Gardner, the mind behind Perry Mason, came together for the Perry Mason TV series. Raymond Burr was chosen for the role of the lead detective. Barbara Hale played Della Street, William Hopper was roped in to play Paul Drake, and William Tallman played the role of Hamilton Berger, the defense attorney who forever stood against Mason. Fred Steiner created the show's theme, which became instantly popular. The show was a smashing hit and had a successful run of nine years. In 2016, HBO announced a reboot. In 2019, Robert Downey Jr., one of the producers of the new show, announced that Matthew Reese would be playing Perry Mason. In the new series, the first episode of which aired on June 21, 2020, Juliet Rylance plays Della Street and Chris Chalk plays Paul Drake. The new Perry Mason miniseries is set in the era of the Great Depression and differs from the original series in many ways. Let's take a look at how the new Perry Mason cast is different from the original cast. Facts First presents the original Perry Mason cast versus the new cast. If you enjoy watching our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and also remember to press the bell icon to get notified about all our latest videos. Matthew Reese as Perry Mason Matthew Reese, who played the role of Philip Jennings in The Americans, plays Perry Mason in the new HBO miniseries. Unlike the incredibly successful and suave Perry Mason of the original series, the young Perry of the HBO miniseries is an alcoholic who is struggling hard to come to terms with his life after divorce and the Great War. Young Perry suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. His life changes when he finds himself in the middle of a high-profile case that involves the kidnapping and death of a young boy, Charlie Dodson. When you watch Perry Mason, you expect to see a criminal defense lawyer defend an accused with the kind of gusto and charm that one can almost relish in. At least, this is the image Raymond Burr projected throughout the original series. However, the young Perry is messy and nothing like Burr, but it's this messiness that makes him so believable. Moreover, while in the original series Mason's private life was never revealed to the audiences, in the new series, his private life and his struggles get a lot of focus. In an interview with Rotten Tomatoes, Reese accepted what drew him most to the role was the fact that Mason was finally being shown as someone fallible with problems. Juliet Rylance as Della Street Earl Stanley Gardner's Della Street was a smart and charming woman, and many believe the inspiration for the character came from Jean Gardner, his wife, who was also his secretary at one point. Though the original Della Street, played by Barbara Hale, was a smart and intelligent woman who often helped her boss, her character stayed behind the desk throughout the series. In the new series, Della Street, played by Juliet Rylance, finally forays into the real world and takes every chance she gets to make a difference in the world. It's our opinion that the audiences will develop an instant liking for the new Della, who's always on the go. Juliet Rylance is a seasoned actor who has starred in several popular shows, including The Nick and McMafia, and successful films like A Dog's Purpose and Sinister, and is totally believable as the smart and intelligent New Age Della Street. Chris Chalk as Paul Drake Gardner created Paul Drake as a tall and mostly unremarkable person, a personality trait that is an asset to his profession. He's a successful criminal defense lawyer and Mason's right-hand man. In the original series, William Hopper played Drake. The HBO Perry Mason series has given a new profession to Drake. Paul Drake, played by Chris Chalk, is now a black police officer struggling against a system that refuses to give him the respect he deserves. He's still a very good friend to Mason. However, in the new series, Drake finds himself in the middle of a civil rights movement that has hit Los Angeles and is doing everything possible to make his place in the department. Chalk, who has starred in shows such as Gotham and When They See Us, says the new Drake is struggling with key moral dilemmas in the show. If you're enjoying this video, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon to stay informed about all our latest videos. Tatiana Maslany as Sister Alice The new Perry Mason miniseries is different from the original in many ways. In the original series, each episode focused on a different case, but the HBO miniseries revolves around a single central murder mystery that exposes several modern-day vices and brings the issues of misogyny, racial injustice, and police corruption to the fore. Since the show revolves around a single murder mystery, it became crucial to introduce new characters to the storyline. Let's look at some of these new characters that have audiences enraptured, and who better to start 
start with than Sister Alice. The second episode of Perry Mason introduced the audiences to Sister Alice McKeegan, the charming evangelical who draws millions with her preachings and sermons. The show's creators have based the character of Sister Alice on Amy Semple McPherson, who founded the International Church of the Four Square Gospel. Tatiana Maslani, who played the larger-than-life Sarah Manning in Black Orphan, is playing Sister Alice in this new Perry Mason series. John Lithgow as Elias Burchard, E.B. Jonathan. Elias Burchard, E.B. Jonathan, is another new face you'll see in the new Perry Mason series. E.B. is a father figure to Mason. He's an attorney by profession who has hit rock bottom in his professional career. However, life gives him a second chance when he lands a case involving child kidnapping and murder. E.B. asks Mason to help him with the case, and it's through E.B. that Mason becomes involved with the Charlie Dodson murder mystery, which is the central theme of the show. John Lithgow is playing the role of Elias Burchard, E.B. Jonathan, and he is as convincing, as charismatic as he was was in The Crown. Shea Wiggum as Pete Strickland. As the murder mystery becomes more and more complicated, Mason decides to hire Pete Strickland to help him with the cases. Strickland serves less as a partner and more as an extra pair of eyes that Mason needs around him to keep track of the entire investigation. Strickland is a dashing and jaunty fellow who uses his charm to win friends and women wherever he goes. He enjoys an easy camaraderie with Mason and often brings relief in moments of despair. Shea Wiggum plays Pete Strickland with suave and ease. This isn't the actor's first period drama. The man was seen before in American Hustle and Boardwalk Empire and has a knack for period dramas. Gail Rankin as Emily Dodson Yet another cast member who deserves a spot on this list is Gail Rankin. Gail plays Emily Dotson, the mother of Charlie Dotson in the new series. We can't tell you much about her character, as we would be spoiling the show for you if we did, but we can tell you this much. Emily Dotson believes her son's kidnapping is God's way of punishing her for her own mistakes. Gail Rankin, who played Queen Victoria in The Greatest Showman, plays Emily Dotson, and while she might not be as well recognized as some of the other actors on this list, she is incredibly talented, which you will realize when you watch the show. On September 21, 1957, the first episode of the original Perry Mason aired on CBS and set the basis for courtroom dramas like Law & Order and Boston Legal that audiences love and enjoy today. At the center of the show was Perry Mason, played by the ramrod straight Raymond Burr, a criminal defense lawyer who made solving murder mysteries look so interesting that the show enjoyed a nine-year-long successful run and won many awards. The very mention of the show brings feelings of nostalgia for many people. For fans of the original Perry Mason and courtroom dramas, HBO is doing a reboot of the original series. The new Perry Mason show is set in the Great Depression era and focuses on a single murder case instead of a new case in every episode. The cast and characters have also been changed to align them with the contemporary world. We hope you enjoyed this video on the original Perry Mason cast versus the new cast. Are you liking this reboot of the original series, or do you think Hollywood should just give up its love and greed for reboots? Let us know your opinion in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so we can keep you updated about all our latest videos.